what's up guys monster diner reviews i got four of these smaller pack dinosaurs to review so what we're going to do today guys is blue straight away i noticed that blue is actually on a different sculpt than the velociraptor from this line as you can see the body shape is even different so yeah, let's get them out of the pack, and when I review this one, we'll do a comparison of them. So I said him, blue is actually a female velociraptor, just thought I'd correct myself. All right, it looks like it's just these two little straps keeping it in, so we'll get these straight out, and we can get to the figure then. There we go, and I think that's about it. It should just pop straight out of the blister pack. So yeah, packaging is pretty nice, as you can see, it's very typical of the Jurassic World Dominion line, but obviously on a smaller scale. And I did actually open one of these before with my Morris Intrepidus review. So I have this guy here for comparison. So taking a look at blue, you can see that the colours are fairly faithful to the on-screen adaption. You've got this really cool striping down from the eye going all the way down to the end of the body. And yeah, the figure has just your very... It's very basic amounts of articulation, but that's what you come to expect from smaller figures. So your arms move up and down. And they are set in this sort of like crooked pose. But I suppose that doesn't matter too much. And the legs go forwards and backwards. They're on a joint, but they, they're a bit stiff. Underside, we have some sort of cream patterns. But there's also all these weird holes. I don't know what that's about. I suppose it's to give it some realism. And your tail just rotates backwards and forwards. Or left and right, whatever way you want to say. Um, I think the mouth articulates yeah nice so we've got some articulation on the head here as well which is pretty cool and the colors are nice they're on a sort of gray tone you've also got one of these dino dna things to scan i've never bothered with these so yeah let's see how this one stacks up next to the morris intrepidus Uh, the back of the foot there is on a weird angle, so to get it to stand, you have to pose the back foot arching backwards. It looks like the Morris Intrepidus is actually bigger than the Velociraptor, so I'm going to have to do a quick bit of fact-checking just to see if it was a bigger dinosaur. But you can see it stands quite a bit taller, and also, in terms of length, the Morris Intrepidus is just slightly longer as well. So I'm going to quickly check that, and we'll be back. So after a little bit of Googling, it seems there's a couple of ways of looking at this, guys. These two are pretty much in scale with the current scientific knowledge, but we all know that the Jurassic Park Velociraptors are basically on steroids. They're based on the Deinonychus, which was about three to four feet tall and about nine feet long, I believe. Morris Intrepidus was about one meter tall or just over that, so about three to four feet tall and about six to eight feet long as well. Uh, now, the Velociraptor's actual size is two feet tall and about five to seven feet, I think it was. So I'll put up all those stats on the screen and then you guys can see. But yeah, you know, in terms of Jurassic Park figures, they are pretty much in scale. I believe that's, that's pretty much right. Um, maybe a little bit oversized compared to the actual scientific ones. Obviously, we know this is based on the Deinonychus. But yeah, there's the original, I think it's Robert Muldoon from the original Jurassic Park film for scale. I don't have any of the current figures, so don't know their scaling. But you can see, based on the charts I showed, they are pretty much in scale. So I can get this guy to stand here. I'll show you the other thing I've got, guys. There we go. Now, here is the Velociraptor from the original Jurassic Park film. And I do love this figure because of its orange accents with a, with a reddish striping going all the way down. And you've also got the green eyes. But yeah, this figure is just way oversized. So you can see this one 
next to the current Raptor. I think the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park were something stupid like 15 feet long or something. So that's about accurate and they were six feet tall. So I suppose maybe only just slightly oversized. And this was the big Raptor because there was a lot smaller ones you could get in the line. I've just got to go through all my old toy boxes to find those. But yeah, so next to blue, you can see the scaling is actually a lot better. And in terms of the sculpt, I'll just get blue to open her mouth. Yeah, a lot more accurate, I would say, compared to what the real dinosaur is. Still got those massive oversized claws, as you can see here. And in terms of height, yeah, blue is just, you know, half a head shorter, maybe. Um, and about two thirds of the length of this Velociraptor. So these were a really nice line from Kenner back in the days. So, yeah, um, I do think this is a nice figure. You can tell that it's got the different kind of humping structure on the body. You've got these, uh, these two bumps. And uh, the actual Velociraptor was sort of shaped like this. So, yeah. So we'll get him on the little spinner. We can have a little comparison, guys. But I think that's about all that needs to be said. Pretty nice in terms of scaling. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. And um, please like, comment and subscribe when I review the other videos in the next few days. Hopefully you guys will be there. Thank you for watching. See you next time.